Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. It is the 20th of July, 12:15. Wait a minute, what is all this space? Oh my gosh, I must be making room for something. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a Pro 1000 is on the way. It should be here next Tuesday. And so I have prepared a permanent surface for it. This is where it's going to live for the rest of its life. This is gonna be my second wife. Yeah, it requires that kind of commitment. But anyway, so I'm extremely happy about that. I was able to buy it at a price that I am uh, happy to have paid for it. Nothing uh, beyond uh, the normal price, which is $12.99 plus a $300 rebate. Still puts it about just under a thousand dollars and I got it for much less than that even including with the shipping so it's coming via UPS Tuesday hopefully uh, so far this company apparently has access to several of these because as soon as mine was nabbed by me a second or third at this point Pro 1000 came up for bid on their site my good friend Manuel Manolo, he bought the previous one and he had nothing but great success with it. So I'm pretty uh, optimistic this will work out just fine and I will be able to provide you users with actual hands-on information about this beast. And this is what I long to uh, bring you. I depleted my coffers. There's no more money in the PayPal account for YouTube. There's no more money for um, anything new uh, the next couple of weeks. We'll have to rely on the earnings from this month, which will be paid actually Saturday, the 22nd. So that's great. We don't mind spending the money that you guys have provided this channel by viewing the videos and by viewing the ads remember this is the way to support the channel view those ads i know they are annoying and i know sometimes they're totally unrelated it just depends on how google handles the ad placement but this is the only way to make money and so then i am able to get what you guys want me to report on and have it here on this table all right now earlier I posted a video about some Pro 10s on eBay going for 290. Well, you're not going to believe this. And okay, I will go back and say that I also stated that European printer enthusiasts would kill for such a deal. 290, free shipping for a Pro 10, brand new in box. But you'll never believe what I just found. And I was looking on eBay just like I really don't need them but you know I always look and this is not a typo it is just incredible Canon Pixma Pro 10 digital photo printer inkjet printer condition new more than 10 available one sold so far they are located in France so there you go guys in Europe free shipping throughout Europe I'm going to bring this as close to the camera as I can so that you see the actual price right here. Okay, now you can get off the floor because I know you guys were all uh, uh, grew a little faint having seen this. But yeah, this is what it's going for. And if you think that's bull, I just bought. Do I need another Pro 10? I said I didn't need one, but I just could not help it locally here in the US and by the name of the seller and by the fact that there's nothing else for sale I think this came from a woman a lady whose husband possibly bought it and maybe passed away that's how I got my pro one that's the way that's why I got it for so little money literally just a couple of hundred dollars for it I paid thirty five dollars free shipping and I checked and double-checked and double-checked and triple-checked. 
my PayPal went through. I had uh, a few dollars left and now $35 less. But anyway, Pro 10, brand new inbox, $36, free shipping included. How in the hell is that possible? How in the hell is this possible? I will put the link to this. I'm going to go process this immediately and post it right after the video that I just posted. And by the way, let me give you a little preview of what I will be creating videos uh, in the subject matter. I'm going to finally do my list of top Epson and Canon 13 to 17 inch wide capacity printers. I will cover the Epson SP1400 or Artisan 1430, which is a dye ink printer. It's the only one that's in the photo category from Epson, I believe, at this time that uses still that great six color dye ink. Not the greatest for black and white, but still produces beautiful prints. They are refillable. And so, you know, no, nothing to criticize about those printers. I had one still in box. I have one that's a little iffy, requires a print head, which I have been playing around with the idea of getting, but I really don't need it. I think I'll sell it to someone and they can get the print head. And then uh, I'm going to cover the R2000 slash P400, the R3000 slash P600, the P800, the Pro 3880. The P800 is what the 3880 became much more improved printer than the 3880. Some may debate that, but I think it is absolutely true. The only negative thing is, of course, we cannot reset the carts. We cannot use refillable carts. After you use one round of them, you have to go back to OEM. Then on the Canon side, we will discuss the best four printers they've ever produced for the home market. Pro 100, Pro 10, Pro 1, and the new edition, the Pro 1000. Then somebody asked me, I would love to hear your story. How did you become who you are today? And I said, are you sure you want to listen to that? Are you sure you want me to go back in time when I was like a little kid in Puerto Rico and tell you how I became interested in photography? I think I've discussed that fragmentedly some place. Is that a word? In previous videos but maybe I'll do that if you're willing to sit and listen to this do so if you're not you don't have to watch it but I know a few people are curious to see how I got into this whole thing how I evolved from certain subjects of interest to what I do now then I will have a show and tell this category will be shoes this was a challenge at the DP Review Forum. The subject matter was shoes. And I will show you some before and after pictures, things that I have done to improve those photographs. They should have never been submitted before these improvements had been applied. And it's so simple, so obvious. It's crazy. But anyway, and I will talk about the Pro 1000 level sensor. Wow, that thing is really, really interesting. And since I'm going to have one here, I'm going to talk about it before it arrives so that you guys that are contemplating buying these can make sure that you don't commit these errors. All right, now, the website that I bought mine from has one at this moment. And I believe yesterday it was hovering around 179. It'll probably go between six in 700 something dollars so i will post that link if you guys are interested start bidding and get into a bidding war with um, whoever is bidding it's always the same people that were trying to get it before my friend and i nabbed these last two so anyway it seems to go about 300 dollars less than the actual price even after rebate so it's actually pretty good all right, that is it. Let me quickly go ahead and process this and upload it. So again, please subscribe, share, and like. Please let those ads play. That gives me credit. And so that allows the video to earn more money. 
The money is not astronomical, it's fractions of a cent, but it all adds up. I have almost 800 videos now. So again, oh, also, many people who are just landing to the channel, they're finding me, are asking about other subjects. Well, if you just saw the one that I just did, basically covering all of my playlists, utilize that, utilize that feature. It will lead you to much older videos that are still 100% relevant, covering every one of these questions you are asking. Don't ask me, because then I have to take time to look up the video, give you the link. It's all there, folks. All it takes is a little bit of search. I know people are anxious and they don't want to put the time to do a proper search, but it's all there. And you should be able to find the answers to every one of your questions, unless it's about a product that I still do not have. All right, most of the time I have covered all of the basic uh, questions, the basic concepts, and just about anything you want to know. All right, that is it. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Until the next time, happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye. I got to head over to the hospital pharmacy and pick up some drugs. Yes, when you're old, you need lots of meds. So thank you once again. Happy printing. Bye-bye.